Join you, Mr. Bates. Venable. Tracy Venable. Thanks, Myrna. Coastal reports? I write for them sometimes. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Uh, I might. Look, Mr. Bates. Norman. I'm doing an article on the insanity defense and the rehabilitation of mentally ill murderers. A lot of people think that they can't be rehabilitated and shouldn't be allowed back on the streets, that there shouldn't be an insanity defense. We always hear the objections of the victims and their relatives, but in a way, murderers who can't help themselves are victims too. Your point of view would be important to me. This lady's bothering you, Norman. I'll have her leave. Isn't your coffee break about over, Sheriff? Anything else, Norman? So what do you think? About? What we were just saying. I mean, Norman, you were incarcerated for 20 years. 22. Right. For 22 years, you were locked away someplace. Now, the state says you're sane. You paid your debt. Then Lila Luma starts to persecute you. Because of what happened to her sister? Yes. Marion Crane, right? Norman. Right. But that was 20 years ago. 22. A long time for someone to harbor revenge. Aren't you the least bitter about what Lila Loomis tried to do to you? I understand. My cure couldn't cure the hurt I caused. My return to sanity didn't return the dead. There's no way to make up that loss. The past is never really past. It stays with me all the time. And no matter how hard I try, I, I can't really escape. It's always there, throbbing inside you, coloring your perceptions of the world and sometimes controlling them. But that's my point, Norman. You aren't without conscience. You live with guilt and torment. You punish yourself all the time. Why does the rest of society have to? Take Mrs. Spool's disappearance. What if some well-meaning citizen got the idea that you had something to do with it? I'm not upsetting you, am I, Norman? All this talk about Mrs. Spool is only hypothetical. What's yours, babe? I was only using her as an example of how people might, given your past history, tend to automatically blame you for any murder in the area. 